joining me. I'm Stephen Quinn. Now this is Driving with Stephen. And on today's episode, I really wanted to talk about, you know, playing to your strengths and understanding your weaknesses. And so often we feel um, like we're not good enough to achieve great things in our life because we're so caught up on worrying about what our weaknesses are. And one thing that I've learned is, you know, whether you're worth millions of dollars or whether you make minimum wage, you have talents and skills that others do not. And the difference between being caught up in the minimum wage life and living the million dollar life is how you play to those strengths, okay? So like for me, I'm a real estate investor and I'm going around looking on to do real estate deals. When I started, I didn't have any money. I, I had enough to you know, live my paycheck to paycheck lifestyle and to feed my family and, and to be a good dad. Uh, but I didn't have enough to go out there and invest in real estate and to flip houses and, you know, to do those kinds of things. And so I, I learned that, you know, if you don't have the resources, you have to be resourceful. So I took that into play and I said, okay, well, what strengths do I have? What value can I bring to the table that can help me, you know, achieve something greater? And so I started looking around, I'm like, okay, so I've been a heating and air conditioning guy for years, and I've learned through that in that job to evaluate homes and to determine what their needs were. So it, I'm gonna get a little bit of heating and cooling on you here, so just hold on tight. When I go to evaluate a home to figure out what size furnace and air conditioner it needs, I have to evaluate the home. How old is it? What kind of insulation is in there? Does it have single pane or double pane windows? How's the attic set up? Is there an attic at all? Is there a crawl space underneath it? Like I had to evaluate the whole home because I needed to figure out, am I trying to heat and air condition a cardboard box or am I trying to heat and air condition an ice chest that's better insulated? And that would vary greatly on what I would do. So scrolling back a little bit here, what I'm trying to get at is I had to take the time to understand how a home was built. So I had a skill and I, I understood it and I knew it well. That is a talent or a skill rather that others may not have. So I said, okay, I can bring that to the table. I can evaluate these homes and figure out what is their needs based on this analysis that I have the ability to do. The other thing is I really enjoy working with people. Some people hate working with people, but that is a skill that I don't mind. Having a conversation with somebody figuring out what they need and what they want and doing that in a very personable way um, is a negotiation type of tool that I have a talent in. So I decided, okay, I don't have the money to do real estate, but I do have these resources. So I know what my weakness is. My weakness is I don't have money. My strength is I can do these talents and skills well. So I started building deals around that concept. So I'll come in, I will negotiate the deal and help get the, the property under contract at the right price in a way that's a win-win for everybody involved, that the homeowner's being taken care of that is selling the property, that I'm being taken care of in what I will earn from the sale of that property later. And now I just need to have somebody join my team that can take my weakness of no money and bring it to the table make a win for them and in real estate you can do that now I'm, I'm not trying to just bring this and wrap this around that particular world but my point is is learn to look at your life and play to your strengths and understand your weaknesses so that you can bring people onto the team that turn those weaknesses into strengths for you and your business doing so will greatly enhance your ability to to achieve your dreams, to have your goals, to do the things that you want to do. And it's, we need to stop living our day-to-day -day life in a way where we him and ha over our problems and over our woes and what our concerns are. My life is not perfect. I mess up all the time. Go ask my wife, right? But, but on the other side of it is we've learned to adapt and to play to our strengths and to celebrate the wins. You know, I remember when I got my first property under contract, um, and then soon after actually got a second one under contract, my wife and I took our family to dinner, and we celebrated. It wasn't a big deal, we just went out to dinner, but it was that habit 
of celebrating the little wins. You know, after I, I can't even remember what the other item was, I think it was I sold another property or something, I went out and bought a new suit with some of that income. It, it wasn't me being frivolous, it was me celebrating the wins so that I would keep reinforcing the idea that the more I could win, the better my life could be and the more happiness I could find as opposed to living day to day in the drudgery of, oh, woe is me, this is all I can do. So go out there, celebrate your wins, go out there and play to your strengths, learn that you have skills that others do not, and let that be what leads you to success. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for joining me. See you on the next one.